it is important that we face up to the fact of what is happening with uh, our greenhouse gases and the carbon emissions, the carbon dioxide emissions from our coal-fired plants too. Uh, just so you know, uh, we here in Illinois export energy uh, between our coal-fired plants and our nuclear-powered plants. We are exporting energy to uh, the East Coast and other parts of the United States. So we are more than self-sufficient in energy. Um, but when it comes to things like mercury and particulate matter, that is a concern to us because we are getting the pollution from it. Uh, it's a little bit different with global warming because there are no borders. And that's why it's important for our governor uh, to be working regionally and for us to be working and thinking in a global scale. Uh, the third thing that we need to do is start cleaning up coal-fired power plants, start cleaning up our cars, start cleaning up our oil refineries. And that's why this report is so important. Uh, it lets us know exactly what the nature of the problem is. Uh, how bad are these old coal-fired power plants? How much carbon dioxide pollution are they putting into the air? Uh, what sorts of cuts do we need to make in them if we're going to address the problem of global warming pollution in a real serious, measured way? And uh, this provides that transparency that we need uh, before we start getting the discussion of what an appropriate policy solution is. While we here in Chicago find it hard to believe, uh, Illinois still is uh, an agricultural state, and the threat of climate disruption uh, should set off alarm bells uh, in our farming community also. As the climate changes and uh, we perhaps can't produce the corn, and the wheat and the soybeans that uh, we use to feed the world, uh, certain pests um, can also take over. So it's very important. It's not just an urban problem. It is a problem that affects all of our state. Uh, we're making all this progress on energy efficiency. We're making all this progress on renewables. It needs to be a little bit faster, uh, but we're making it. And the big thing that's hanging out there is what are we going to do about our old coal-fired power plants? What are we going to do about our oil refiners? What are we going to do about the sources of global warming pollution that already exist or that may be coming online soon? And so we're hopeful that we can start with, through reports like this and uh, policies that are being discussed, like the uh, carry boxer bill at the federal level. Uh, we're hopeful that we can start cutting into our carbon dioxide pollution, uh, seriously addressing the problem of global warming, not simply mitigating the, the damages that are coming, uh, not simply flatlining the damage that we're doing and stopping the growth of carbon emissions, but actually starting to cut into it. And um, I think you know, reports like this and some of the policies that we're discussing, uh, they're a major step forward and, and they're pretty encouraging as, as we move into a hopefully a cleaner